<laughs> walk, 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 why Bangkok? <laughs> <laughs> so, who's Paddy Doyle? What's, what's this fuss about? Because I've been saying already, like, I, yeah. I admire you. You're in, um, yeah, your work, you're a professional in my eyes. This is probably the worst thing about traveling Thailand. Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. We are in the south of Thailand, in Phuket, and today we're gonna meet Paddy Doyle. He's one of the biggest YouTubers here in Thailand at the moment. So yeah, I'm really excited to have this little chat with him, to share a few thoughts with him, and also ask him a few questions. Why or why Paddy Doyle, we call this episode. It's gonna be a fun episode with a lot of humor, but as well, we're gonna ask him what his worst experience is here in Thailand. We're gonna do this at the end of the video. If you don't know Paddy Doyle yet, please, Give him some time. I'm very excited for this meeting. I hope you are as well. Let's go. What's up? What's happening? Just hanging out with my uh, Thai fam. It's your Thai fam, yeah. Sawadika, <laughs> Hey, how are we, man? Good to see you Good again. Good to see you. Good to see when you. When was the last time we actually bumped into each other before Phuket? It must have been in, uh, I think it was October or something. In Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai. That's it, yeah. that's it. And thanks for coming to the party the other night. Mate, that's what we, uh, that's why I'm actually, on Phuket to celebrate your 77th province. Did you take any footage? Because I saw you just chilling and enjoying no, yourself. I was just enjoying myself. Okay. It was great to see you. I invited you because I, I tried to invite people that I'd met along the journey. Yeah. Um, and you were one of them and uh, you were one of the few that said, I'll come. Yeah. So thanks for coming. No worries, no worries. Penny, before we start, uh, yeah. let's, let's walk and talk actually, actually if, you're, uh, if you're down for that. Yeah, no problem. Nice, nice. Let's start from the beginning really because there are people like most of the viewers on this video maybe know you but yeah. there's also a lot of people maybe don't know you okay so who's Paddy Doyle what's what's this fuss about because I've been saying already like I, yeah. I admire you you're in um, yeah your work you're a professional in my eyes you are a professional youtuber and many other you know I've been doing YouTube part-time for five years with two of my best friends so a YouTube channel called the budgeteers and yeah. we go to a different part of the world with a thousand dollars yeah. And we see how far we can make it last on a budget, right? And we try to show people that you don't need a lot of money to travel. I like that. And that's, that where I, that's where I cut my teeth with talking on camera, editing videos, uploading to YouTube. And that grew to 100,000 over about four years, doing it part time in between. 100,000, I'm talking US dollars or subscribers? Subscribers. Okay. <laughs> and um, then I was umming and ahhing about starting my own channel and doing my own adventure, but I never really had the confidence to do it. The COVID came and I was teaching, as you know, I'm a teacher. Um, you might not know, I'm a teacher in Thailand. <laughs> and I just thought, now's the time. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I had some savings. I had about $10,000 in savings and I had a little banger on the dream motorcycle and an idea, which was to go to every province in Thailand and document it on YouTube and document the physical journey. Yeah the personal journey and the, the also touch on the business side of it. Yeah. That was the aim, was to turn it into a business, which thankfully, after a lot of hard work, I can say that it is safely like ticking over and I can actually sustain this lifestyle. If we go back a little bit, yeah, because I'm going to ask you also a few questions that I, uh, I know already, because I know you, I've been following you. Okay. Um, but just for the, for the whole picture, you, you've been in Thailand for, for how long? Like. Um, I think it's just over eight years. Eight years? Yeah, I had four in the south, then a break, and then four in the north. Okay, and then in these, in these eight years, you kind of like saved up, COVID happened, or you had some savings anyway? No, I didn't have any then savings until, like, I, I saved up for one year. Uh, I moved into a nice apartment, well, a nice house with, with, with a couple, and yeah. because, of that, because of that, rent went down. I worked really hard on the weekends. I, I, would, I was doing teaching at home. Like kids would come to my house oh, and I'd wow. teach them at home. Okay, like extra yeah, Extra cash, yeah. Oh, right. And um, the budgeteers was ticking over and we'd make some money from that. So yeah. I only really started saving in one year uh, because before that, most, like, most people watching this, um, saving's hard. You just want to spend the money you've got on, on the things that you don't actually need. <laughs> yeah. Like do shirts and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so I just for a year just saved really hard. And then I knew that if the channel didn't succeed in a business sense for at least nine months, I'd be fine. Yeah. But um, working really hard after about nine months. Mate, good, aren't you? Good. Hey, mate, I've, I've done actually a pretty similar thing, you know, like oh, yeah, a, yeah. A, a, sim a similar amount of money, traveling. Uh, I know Thailand has like low cost of living. And I was Except like, for here. <laughs> Except for here in Phuket. <laughs> yeah, Phuket's expensive. Yeah. Like, just going so, for a coffee or going for a lunch. If you go anywhere fancy, anywhere slightly fancy. Yeah. It's 200 baht for a, for a sandwich, 250. Yeah. It's like, you know, in Chiang Mai, you can, like, you can live on food for a whole week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, no, no. Yeah. If you compare any, 
anywhere outside of Chiang Mai, Thailand can be quite expensive, really, touristic area especially. Yeah. So, so now you've got this channel. Yep. How, how, um, because I've, I've seen a, an interview with you and uh, Peter from Tyrus Times. The Tyrus Times. Tyrus Times. Uh, you didn't have a you didn't have a pint actually. I expected you guys having a pint of Guinness, but I think they ran out. They ran out. The whole of Thailand's run out of Guinness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah no, it's true. Yeah. Something to do with COVID and the supply. Yeah, not enough. Not enough. Maybe people. we'll find one here though. Ooh, that would be good. Wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, um, kind of a, a prank on Pete then, I guess. Sabadika. Sabadika. <laughs> it's cute to see the locals here. I tell you what, I want to be the best that I can be, right? Yeah. And I want. When I look at the YouTube thing, it is competitive. You, you see other people succeeding and you go, oh, I want to do that too. And you see people who have lower subscribers than you and then they jump ahead of you and you go, oh, why is that happening, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the, the fickle, um, self-conscious uh, douchebag in me coming out. But really, when I say like I want to be the best, I just mean I just want to be the best that I can be. Yeah. You know, which means get up and work and go out and film and come home and edit and repeat for a year. Yeah. You know, I, I only missed um, about 10 days without uploading in the entire year. Mm -hmm. And then that was because I actually did kind of overwork myself and I didn't quite work things out in my head and had a bit of a lull and a bit of a dip. Yeah. Um, but for, for 365 days, I uploaded for 355. Uh, not every day, but every other day. Wow. That's so that's what I mean by trying to be the best. It's like, yeah. you got to work hard. It doesn't just happen. Do you? Uh, I know. I know how much work it can take. Do you? Um, do you say you accomplished this whole year? Did you? Because uh, you, you've done the seventy-seven prophecies. Yep. Are you happy with the results? Are you happy where you are now on YouTube and business-wise? Yeah. I, I mean, over the moon. I think after about three months, I realized it was going to be fine, and if I just kept working hard. Yeah. Um, and I'm so happy to. F I'm so relieved to finish. Yeah, because it's such a. I told you. I don't know if I told you um, at the party, but after a, after about four or five months, I realised that it was just it was a big ask to go to every province, especially on Dreamy. It was a little bit too much. Um, I think I bit too much <laughs> more than I chew. But yeah. But I, at that point, I was so invested in it, and so and it was so was everybody else. Everybody wanted me to go to every province, and I couldn't give up. There was three distinct times where I really did think about like, okay, how can I get out of this? How can I quit? Was that a period in Samui, for example? One time in Samui, one time in Isan. In Sisaket? Uh, just the whole time, yeah. the whole time in Isan. <laughs> okay. Like, it's a big, empty, barren land uh, that feels extremely lonely, yeah. especially when you're on a little bike like that. Um, I had a good time in Isan, but I just, yeah, I had a, I had a low. So you, you, uh, you uh, you're saying as well about yourself that you quite because you're English you're saying like you're complaining a lot and uh, yeah. I'm Dutch as well so I, I do tend to do that as well or d Dutch people in general I think and then when you are you are like really down in Sisaket and you were talking about this yeah yeah I like my channel is is in, in a way different because I always want to be showing the positive side there are downsides as well I'm not gonna walk away from this people know when they watch the videos out there yeah. they're having like the, the positive energy and stuff. I always get positive energy out of your content anyway though, but um, you, you know... You, you I think even if I'm being miserable and I'm moaning about yeah. having a crap day, I think people find uh, solace in that You're anyway. always give, giving yeah. me a positive feeling. There's value Definitely. There's value in having a bad time as well. People can learn from like, yeah. like your... Like, okay, why is, he, why is he down? Oh, he overrun himself, he traveled too far, too much. He, you know, because I voice... My, every time it's uh, a miserable video or I'm moaning, I yeah. blame it on myself and I, I show people why it's my fault. Yeah. It's never Thailand's fault. Um, it, it, it's just like Sisaket. <laughs> this Mate, one I, province I went to, I didn't like it because I was overworked, over-traveled, not rested, dehydrated and just lonely. And that buckled on top of me in that province. And then the day I was not filming that video, the next day I had a great day in yeah, Sisaket. Yeah, you were saying. But I wasn't filming and I kept the video as is because, you know, drama gets views. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I actually want to tell you as well, I've been to the, the glass bottle temple as well. Oh, uh, wait. And I've been driving Did also you, was miles. It nice? and, was it done up? It was beautiful. It was nice. It was very, in my eyes, very special. It's very special, I it's, think. When I got there, it was a complete nightmare. Like it was all dirty, dogs everywhere. Yeah, there were dogs there. everywhere. There was no one there. There was, but I mean, the concept of like there were it wasn't like even open. millions of people going. Oh, I could go in. And I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was good. I thought they just made a temple and then they just stuck bottles onto it, and I just thought it was rubbish. Okay, 
<laughs> well, they... <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. No, but I, I know how far you have to drive for just that temple, because yeah. otherwise, like, uh, anything else there is just like, yeah, it's very, there's not much there, is there? No. Champ, uh, so I thought... Well, come say hello to Dreamy first, but... Oh, yeah, so <laughs> there she is. So if you don't know, this is, this is Dreamy, this is my little... Come around this side, this is a good side. If you stand here <laughs> and face here, this is her good side. So this is what I've been driving on. Dreamy. Yeah. And she's absolutely on her last legs. Um, she looks nice because I've cleaned her, but... Um, so what are you, uh, you going to do with her? I'm going to put her into storage somewhere and keep yeah. her like privately, you know, like for future trips or for my own collection. Yeah. But I will be upgrading the bike. That's an exclusive. There you go. Because I, I do so wait, want wait, wait, to, wait, wait, wait. I do, I do the... want to get a new bike. Yeah. For so future series. That's going to be next. Not next. I think there's <laughs> something in between that that I'm planning because um, the big thing I want to do, which involves an, a new motorbike, can't yeah. quite do that till probably around July oh. because of rules and regulations. Ah. So and a it, big, it, big thing you still want to keep a secret because this is going to be published, published probably tomorrow. Well, it's not really a secret because it's not confirmed. But ah. basically, I mean, it's not. You'd have to be a genius. Um, <laughs> Vietnam's open, right? Vietnam's open. Yeah and it's the, one of the best countries to motorcycle and it just makes sense to go there but i would like to buy my own bike here in thailand because yeah. you know, thailand's my base thailand's my home so i'd like to buy one here you know um and then so i'm just looking into how can i can i drive across cambodia can i drive across cambodia into vietnam and the answer is at the minute no you can't no. not till around july when everything else just goes back to normal so slowly, month by month, different rules are changing and we're, set, we're thinking that July is good to go to cross borders. Right. So between May and July, I'll go and do something else, which I haven't figured out yet. Probably you're gonna, what you're, you really wanna do is go on the streets and ask people why are they there? Why oh why? <laughs> No, I really got, I, you know, he told me you were going to do walk, 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 Bangkok. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. And you were going to hit a walk. And that, I just thought that was hilarious, but you never did that. I've never done it yet. <laughs> I've never done it yet. No, walk, 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 why Bangkok? <laughs> <laughs> so, that was so funny. Maybe you got to do it. I, I was also looking at um, uh, the thing that you were saying about Mark Weens. Yeah, what, uh, am I going to do another video? Because everyone is doing it, you know? So do you want to oh, be that person? Oh, you mean going to his restaurant? To going eat, to re yeah. eat it and give your opinion about it. So I'm thinking just like, I'm going in front of the, I'm standing in front of the res restaurant. People like walking in, I ask them, why are you coming here? That's and then good, when they walk out, I'm really just going to be video. like, how was it? That's a really good video because um, you're, taking, not about the you're food. taking a popular popular trend on YouTube and turning it in making your own. Yep. So that's kind of what I wanted to do by just <laughs> having breakfast because everyone else goes for lunch. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. how creative I am at Paddy Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. So, how? Who do you? Uh, who did you get this from? The creative side. Is that your your family, or uh, where you were in school? And there's a teacher there that was um, inspiring you. Or reading as a kid. Goosebumps. Oh, hor goosebumps. Horrible yeah. histories. Um, <laughs> well, goosebumps. The the series. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. And like, not really growing up with the internet. So like, learning how to play outside and play with your sister and stuff. And. Just, just like, you know, I think creativity is, is uh, nurtured as you grow up. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, just having, just, just having ideas. I'll tell you where I get all my ideas, it's when I go for a walk or a run. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, no yeah. music, no, 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 no distraction. And uh, I'll go for a run and I'll come back and I'll have 10 ideas. Yeah. And that's where, because I think when the, when the dopamine is running around your blood system, yeah. you feel happier, you feel freer, you feel more open-minded and creative. Do you, do, do you find that? Yeah, I do, but I'm gonna have to admit, I haven't been, for like two months, I haven't done anything on, in sports, and I- But I, you're so trim and handsome. I'm fat and ugly. Yeah, stop saying that. You're saying because, that a lot. Yeah, because uh, you, I put I don't 10 think, kilos on. Yeah, well, you look, find still. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> because Miss P has been on the road trip for the past few weeks, it's kind of a really awkward if you don't show her around you know just yeah. if you block her completely yeah um so i've got her like i've got, got b-roll of her walking in front of me yeah front, you know stuff like that and uh even even like two seconds of your of your girlfriend walking it walking in front of you you get comments in the comment section like she's got a nice ass and oh all that. yeah and i was like man can you imagine if she was in the thumbnails can you imagine if i was what, what do you think of that like what do you what, what emotions do you get from that when someone is saying 
Like, I can imagine if someone's throwing something at you, then there's no yeah. problem. But to your girlfriend, how, how do you feel about it's that? A, it's okay because she she saw that comment and thought it was funny. But if they were, if it started getting a little bit um, rude, yeah, then I would have to sort of go in there and uh, monitor the comments. You know, if someone starts saying, how much did you pay for your girlfriend? All this kind of stuff, then they would just get blocked straight away. Yeah. Um, but this is the thing, it's like, she's in it for three seconds and that, there's, already, yeah. there's already creeps yeah. coming in. I really try in my life, and it's like a lot in my whole life, it's gonna be a mission for me to never judge. So all, even they maybe have a good reason or they maybe have talked about this a lot and they're like together and they, they, they know what they have and they, you know, we don't know the whole picture. We just look at it, this guy, there's a few, yeah. There's a few, I don't want to call names, but there's a few guys at the moment on YouTube that are using a lady as to, to get more subscribers. But I'm trying to not judge that. Even yeah. as I, if I'm inside of me straight away, I'm like, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a touchy subject. I mean, I just think if you're a gentleman, you already know the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. You think you're a gentleman? Ladies. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. You're, you're got <laughs> <laughs> just talk about it. No. <laughs> you spent like eight years roughly in Thailand. Mm -hmm. How many years did you spend in Chiang Mai? Four. So you know I do the why wise. What, so why did you do four years there and not anywhere else? Good job. Good school. Yeah. Um, well, fantastic school. Great job. And I developed there and I, I, got, I became a better teacher there. Yeah. I was given more freedom and I just loved it. I loved every minute of it. And then when, when COVID came and we switched to online, I was like, no, I'm not enjoying this. Yeah. I'm not enjoying this. I enjoyed finishing at one o'clock in the afternoon and jumping into my pool in my house. Yeah. Thought it was like, it was a lot easier, but it's not what I wanted. And I didn't see it getting better. I, see it get, I saw it getting worse and it, it did get worse. If COVID didn't happen, would you, would you have started this? No. Nah. I don't think so. If there was any time to do it, it was that, it was that time and COVID was, was one of the reasons why. That's why last night at the party, uh, I was so thankful um, that people gave tips to the cabaret show because yeah. they lost everything because of COVID yeah. and I gained everything because of COVID. So that's why, um, you know, I, I'm out driving around the countryside watching YouTube and I'm watching people like you and other channels working really, really hard. And I just thought, oh, okay, my channel's got a little bit more momentum. I can help those people. And so I'm trying to help, trying to use everything that I have. Thank you. Um, in as, as, as many ways as I can to help people. I mean, it's not part of my day to day, but we did the boxing fight. I've helped promote other small channels. I saw that, yeah, that, that one was really, I, before I watched you a few times, I told you this in, in, in person as well, like, I didn't really immediately like you. Like, yeah, yeah, was a yeah, bit yeah, moaning, blah, blah, and then you, yeah. I saw a few, and then you start growing on me, and yeah. then you did that. And then I was like, wow, this I guy. Think, I think I'm the same as you try, you know, I, I'll, I'll see thumbnails and thumbnails, and I'll yeah. go, oh my God, those guys look so annoying, and I won't click on it. And then eventually I'll click on it, and um, then you're like, oh, actually these guys are well all right. Yeah. It's because we judge a book by its cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. And yeah. I, I can totally imagine why people are, aren't in love with Paddy Dog because I'm British. I, <laughs> I have an annoying accent, maybe. I, <laughs> you know, there's lots, of, there's lots of reasons to dislike Paddy Doyle, and that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I think, I think we should, like, I'm, I'm watching myself back, and I'm also thinking, like, hey, chance, what's happening? Every time after time, I'm like, yeah, peop I can understand why it's annoying or why it's too much or what, something like that, you know? It's, uh, and that's fine. Like, I don't it, think it's too much. As long as you're just being yourself, that's all you yeah. can do. You know, everyone can tell when someone's yeah. being fake. Yeah, no, yeah. but I add a little bit like I am, well, you know me now in person, you, you know how I am and on camera, I just add a little bit more energy, I think. But I think that's what you should do anyway in front of the camera to yeah. get. Yeah, because I, could, I couldn't be like you. I mean, I, I do my YouTube channel. I'm the face of my channel and I do all the talking too, just like you. Yeah. But I watch your videos and I go, man, I couldn't, I couldn't just go up to people on the street. I, even though I am extrovert, I just look up to you in that sense because it's really good ways to get content. I can learn a lot from you. So I watch you, I can, see, I can listen whenever you say something about your channel, about your business. I take that, you know, I yeah. keep it there. Do you have, who's your... Who's your example, or who's your the person that you, Chris, Chris uh, from retired from you, for example? Do you look at him and think like, okay, I maybe it's not my cup of tea, but I can learn from him. From what yeah, I mean, at, at the beginning, at the start of my channel, I saw Chris, I saw CB Media, 
um, oh, yeah. being really successful. And yeah. I just thought, Jesus, like these guys, um, anybody could do this. You know, it was just because they were doing it. Yeah. And that was another kick up my ass, which was like, hey, Paddy, if you just go out and start this, you'll be successful too, because you have the same skill set as them. You can talk, you can edit, you can get yourself out there and have adventures. And that's, um, that's I mean, I look up to Chris in other ways more than like his channel. I look up to the fact that he um, monetizes really well. Yeah. Um, some of my good friends make millions and millions of dollars a year from their YouTube channel and their businesses they've built around their YouTube channel. And I really look up to them. Yeah. Because, you know, who doesn't want to be, f f you know, wealthy and, and comfortable? You know, but it doesn't come with without hard work. And my friends, uh, thank you. Cup and cup. Cheers, mate. Hey, my cheers. friends have done really well. Um, over, like, it took them five years, six years to get to the position that they're in now. But now they're extremely sure. wealthy. Is that a, is that the goal? Being extremely wealthy. Um. Just basically, quick. the dream would be rock up here in a catamaran. 50 supermodels, popping champagne all over, um, have a plane in the sky with a, not, with a big banner. I don't believe you. Saying next level. <laughs> no, no. The dream, Wait, I will be on that boat though. The dream, <laughs> the, the real dream, honestly, yeah. the real dream is to own a plot of land and build a home yeah. and grow vegetables. I mean, don't you just want one day to have enough money to I'm not aiming, work? I'm aiming very low, really. Maybe I should aim higher to, to succeed <laughs> because I'm like, I'm happy with a few hundred that, that will get me around Thailand and maybe to Vietnam or Cambodia for the next few years. So a few hundred US dollars per month would be for me already something. But yes, I do have to. I have high. the business at the forefront of everything I do. I fell in love with a Dutch lady. Yeah. And at the, at the very first moment I knew like, hey, wait, I, I told her like this is going to be selfish. But I have a dream and I can accomplish it only here at the moment. And that's YouTube in Thailand. So I cannot go to the Netherlands. Like I, tr I, I cannot, like number one love is this channel right now and all the subscribers and everything that comes with it. That's, it's, you called it as well your channel, your baby. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, that relationship with either way your, uh, your subscribers or with your business yeah. or I call it not even a business at the moment and I should look at it a bit more as a business, but it's turning into a business, if you're, I guess. If you're, if you're putting 10, 12 hours into it a day, yeah. it's, it's, oh, yeah. and, you, and, you, and you don't treat it as your <laughs> business, then you're not doing no, the right okay. thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. What's the best thing about Thailand, you think? The Wi-Fi is fast, the roads are beautiful, the hostels are cheap, the rooms are clean, it's safe, no one's gonna rob you, the food's spicy and cheap, the beer's cold and delicious, the women are tanned and beautiful. What's not to like? <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Have you ever had a really bad experience? What's, what's, your, what's the worst experience you had here in Thailand? Nothing drastically bad has ever happened. Um, I've never like nearly died. I've never, I've never really been really sick. I've never been robbed. Um, it's so safe here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I tell you what, I, I don't have any bad experience here in Thailand, other than you being ripped off by the tuk-tuk driver or yeah, bar. even 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 I, d I don't fall for the the TikTok the tuk tuk uh, thing because I obviously have my own motorbike. Yeah. Um, the only thing that grates on me, and this is really like this is probably the worst thing about traveling Thailand, is the is the two tier pricing. Yeah. You get to a waterfall, it's twenty baht entrance for Thais. Yeah. And two hundred for foreign. You get to Khao Yai National Park or any other national park, it's 40 baht for Thai yeah. and it's 400 for foreigners. So and that's okay if you're in Thailand for two weeks, you don't even know any better. You just chuck the money in, it's fine. But when yeah. you're traveling here, living here full time, you're part of the community. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, it's, it grates on me. It yeah. really does. No, I, I agree with you. There's a lot of people that straight away, they have an opinion, but I think, what you're saying as well, like if you are working and you're living here, you should get a pass or something that allows you to have discounts at least. My, or my opinion, just local price. My opinion is Thai nationals and work permit holders yeah. should have to pay 50 baht entrance to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're foreign, you just have to pay 100 baht. No, but or, or 500 baht. I think that's fair as well because as a foreigner, someone explained to me, I think Pana explained to me, that um, 
if you're a foreigner, you come here maybe once or two years or maybe yeah. once in a lifetime. Yeah. And you visit the park only once or twice maybe in your life. Yeah. And this these people that are living around the park, yeah, they, they go, go every week. They go every week. And yeah. they spend more than five hundred baht, you know, over a life. So I think this is also a fair But point. I think it all boils down to a lot of people say, Yeah, but you we, we make more money in the in the West. It's like yes, yeah. if you're living in Switzerland, you're making more money than a Thai. If you're if you're living in the UK in London, you're making more money than a Thai. But if you're Nigerian, if you're yeah. Burmese you're still having to pay 400 baht entrance and the GDP of that is much lower than yeah. Thailand. So that argument doesn't really doesn't really work. Unless it's like, you know, like in Sri Lanka, have you ever been to Sri Lanka? Yeah, yeah. When you go to renew your visa, they have a board up and every different country has yeah. a different Vietnam rate. Vietnam as well, actually. Vietnam, uh, when is that you right? enter, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, Qatar, it's $400 or something. Yeah. But then if you're from the UK, it's 26. If it's Should from, be with, with tax as well or with fines, if you get a fine somewhere. They, they, there are countries, I think Norway and Sweden, they're looking at like how much money you have in the bank and then you're like, if oh, you what about this, right, champ? Here's a champ idea. You pay 500 baht or you pay 2000 baht for a six month or a 12 month pass. So it gets you in everywhere yeah. for, for a year. Okay. Anyway, this is just, that was the yeah. only thing. That's the only thing, because it's a paradise, champ. And I can't, luckily, touch wood, nothing terrible's happened. I've not witnessed anything. And I know a lot of other people have had scams and things happen to them, yeah. but I've just been lucky in the Good. sense that Thailand is my is my haven and everything's gone swimmingly so far. Maybe I'm just lucky. You gotta shoot off, champ. That's a, that's a bummer, yeah. I'm gonna have to catch a bus. I'm uh, taking the channel to Bangkok and then we travel to Chiang Mai. There will be a lot to see. There will be a lot more to come. Are you gonna bring back YOY Chiang Mai? Of course, this of is course. the YOY capital. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 100%. please promise me and the viewers that one day we will see Wok 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 Bangkok. Okay, I promise you that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can hold him to it. <laughs> hey, um, thank you for your time. You're uh, you're tuning into a friend after being seeing each other for uh, a while now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we stay in touch. I'm, I'm glad. I'm really glad that you're not gonna do anything until at least June. Because then uh, we maybe get to meet each other again somewhere. Uh, what's next for you? Like not, uh, not not like what's your next big trip? But where are you going next after Phuket? Do you know? I don't know. No. I honestly. Yeah. I'm gonna take three days of listening to an audio book on the beach and not think about anything. Man, that's fantastic. Yeah. Champ. Champ. I would like to say also thank you for watching till the very end from the south of Thailand on a tropical island called Phuket. Bye for now and, and stay, stay champ. champ. <laughs> Thanks mate. My pleasure.